Brie. Yes. Okay, so far you've done an amazing job on an iron worker. The table. So, what is the final limit of the table to know for us to know that we can do as much as we need to? So, what's the definition of the test for maxing out, making sure that this clamp is appropriate? Because we've got three quarter inch bolts, they're welded in from the bottom, right? That you kind of welded them from the bottom. Well, I'm not sure that the clamp is still our limiting factor. I mean, it could be just the strength of the machine if there's going to be enough pressure in the cylinder to cut more. Um, it did the one by six as I wanted it to. I want to try one by eight, possibly one by twelve, or one by ten. Then, yeah, by ten. But I mean, what we'll do you see. estimate as the force limit? One by ten? I'm I'm thinking at least one by eight. I don't know about one by ten. Okay. Um, so our testing procedure would then be to max out so we know what, what the limit is, what, yeah. what, are, what do we want to do? And ideally what will happen is before anything breaks, I didn't have the capability of doing the math calculations for the crazy crap. I basically just scaled up something else and hoping it's going to work. That's why I guaranteed 1 by 6 is because I know we did 1 by 6 on our machine even though the theoretical capacity is 1 by 4. So do we, do we want to push it all the way to 1 by 10? Or quit uh, it we'll at see kind of how it behaves. I think at one by eight. So look at the behavior at one by eight. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I think you know one of the first things to bust will probably be the clamps. Yeah, if you think about if it, man, it does, that's I should have done it bigger, but I didn't realize that. I mean, I, I did some force calculations for that, and I thought there would be about three thousand pounds of force at that point based on the blade gap that there's a moment about this point here where it wants to rotate and um, it but could it's very about well 3,000 pounds huh 3,000 pounds yeah that should not be a problem it for oh. for eight inch one huh? by eight for one by eight or one by six um, for one for one by six what do you mean for whatever because Welding light. I'm gonna move somewhere like this, maybe. Um, so. Yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. One. Mm -hmm. What was I saying? One by eight. Is, so the force calculation is about three thousand pounds. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't have the ability of calculating what it actually takes to shear those because it, the angle is changing. What I can calculate is. We can calculate a max, assuming. Based, based on my calculations before. There's a maximum of 117 pounds pulling down at this point. So you can just do a moment calculation about these points, uh, about the pivot, and say, hey, this is, you know, I, I don't know the exact numbers, but it looks like it's going to be about twice the force. So that's going to be 117 times 2, 234. Yeah. And on that, I did the the uh, moment about how much force would be needed here to hold this down, and since it's basically seven thousand here and this is three and a half inches away, that's a big difference there. And so um, there's going to be a lot less force out here than there would be there, but it's it's still going to be big. And as as the uh, blowout before it goes, you know, it's kind of a crappy weld. Anyway. The distance you're considering around the pivot is one half inch. No. Just the gap. Seven thousand. Huh? You got to consider like. No, because if it starts to pivot at all, all the force is at the point. It's not going to be at the center. Anything right. else? Okay. Do you like that having them on the valve? I'm gonna retrofit with some T's there because that's pretty tacky to have some them coming up all. Valve is mounted on the bonnet. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna is mount where T's you be? here so it comes in sideways instead of straight up because that that's just okay. In the way. Uh, just some position. If you're doing flat here, that's not the right place for it, is it? Yeah. Okay. You're not gonna do both of these at once, probably. You might be able to. I don't know. Okay. But this is perfect for here and for the angle as well, it's right in the center. Okay. Valve mounted. <laughs>